boom. Love that. You're here with Punjab 2000 and we're speaking with the actor, handsome model too, or he was, Sakib Saleem. Thank you so much for okay. coming over on our set and doing this interview. Thank oh, you. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So we're here somewhere, London-ish, South England. We're not allowed, obviously, to give out the location. So what exactly are you here for? Can you just tell us a little bit about the movie and about your role? Okay, so we're here to shoot a film. Uh, it's an official remake of an already existing film that is called Oculus. And that was a very big hit in Hollywood. And the Hollywood guys came to India wanting to remake it. So Relativity Before You came to India. They collaborated with Thought Ventures to make this film. And then they came to me and Huma saying it's a brother-sister film and we want real life siblings playing real life siblings. So that is what got us excited. And when I saw the original film, I was like, whoa, man, that's an awesome film. And if we can just make it in the right way, I think we have a winner already. So it's basically about a film that... Uh, have you seen the original? I haven't, but I have been told to watch it this weekend because I like to be scared and it takes a lot to scare I me. I promise so. you, when you see our film, you'll be very, very scared. So so we've tried to get, uh, give it a interesting Indian flavor also. It's about an Indian family in London and because of some supernatural element, what happens to the family and what what happens to the siblings because when when stuff starts happening to the family the siblings are very young 10 and 12 and then they're separated for 12 years and then they re reunited again to avenge whatever's happened to their family so it's a very if you see as a model it's a revenge film but it's got a supernatural element it it just also depends who are we avenging who are we fighting against and it's the supernatural force and that's what makes it more interesting and more fun and how we're treating it is also very interesting we've got this guy called praval raman who according to me is one of the finest guys i've worked with and i've worked with karan i've worked with yashraj i've worked with a lot of people but he also is a very interesting mind and uh, i think he's the best guy to make this film and he's just made a film before this on this international gangster called charles shobraj okay. and uh, that's going to release soon so i'm really really excited about doing this film with huma we play siblings in the film we have an awkward relationship in the film which is kind of nice because uh, we know each other in real life very, very well, yep, inside sorry. out. No, no, I'm very sure of it now. <laughs> Though we weren't very close like say six years back. But mm -hmm. since we've moved to Bombay, we've gotten really thick. We've become more than siblings, we've become best friends. So I think that's really helping us shooting this film because we know each other really well and we're vibing off very well each other. So it's been a lot of fun. We've been, uh, we've been improvising a lot because we know each other well. So we improvise anything right in the middle of the scene. We say something because I know if I say this, how will she react? We yeah. know each other's reaction meters. So that's what we've been doing. We've been enjoying a lot. So how's the sibling rivalry between each other? Do you push each other a lot? Does it help that she's obviously successful in this industry? And how does that help you as an actor? No, we keep pushing each other. We, I think, uh, healthy competition is always good. Yeah. And uh, if we take that out, there's no f fun being an actor. If you don't try and outdo the other actor, what's the fun in it? Yeah. So we really enjoy ourselves. But there's sometimes I feel that she's doing something she shouldn't do or vice versa. We keep talking to each other. Yeah. And also the fact that we're siblings and we're close, we can talk to each other about these things. Otherwise, if she was any other co-star and I didn't have that equation with her, I wouldn't have spoken to her, correct? Yeah. So that just helps while you're shooting a film with sibling. That's all. Okay. So before we talk more about your acting career, can we go before that? Your childhood, mm. your father, his chain of restaurants, Salim's in Delhi. So mm. what made you not go down that line and to get into to modeling and to acting? Okay, so when I was young, the only thing I was fascinated about was Sachin Tendulkar and cricket. I had this huge poster in my room of Sachin Tendulkar who I would talk to every night. Like proper have a conversation. My mother thought I was demented. My mm -hmm. mother thought that I was crazy, that I was just talking to a poster and I just keep telling him that one day I'm going to play with you, I'm going to open the batting with you for the country, all of that. I used to have posters of him all over the room yeah. and then I, uh, then I started play, playing cricket professionally. I made it to the state level team of Delhi. Then I made it, my mother's Kashmiri, then I went and played a year in Kashmir. So I did all of that. But after a while, I realized that uh, because we live in a country like India, where there's so much competition. And I'm a very practical person in life, in all honesty. So if I feel that I'm not good enough, so I accept it rather than mm -hmm. just fight it. It doesn't mean I don't work hard. I keep working hard, but you know where you stand, right? Mm -hmm. So I realized, okay, I'm good. I'm very good, but probably not the best. 
And How old were you at this stage? There's no second best. There's only one best, and I want to be that best in whatever I do. Yeah. Whether it's my acting now, whatever. I I just want to be the biggest superstar ever. In all honesty, mm. and I have no qualms accepting that. Yeah. That this is what I want to do. So, and I realized that with cricket, okay, I'm good. I'm very good, but I'm not the best. I don't want to do this. How old were you when you realized this? That this wasn't 19, for you. Nineteen, okay. I think I. And also. When when you have to play cricket in India, you have to break in at a really early age. Yeah. You have to break in the Ranji Trophy, the domestic circuit teams, very early. Mm. And I was on the brink, but I wasn't make, making that transition. I wasn't going into the team. I would always be the first substitute, and I wasn't enjoying that. I don't like sitting out. I'm the guy who wants to run the show. In all honesty, yeah. I don't want to be sidelined. And in that whole process, I got into college. I got into university. I started enjoying myself. I got a girlfriend. I had a different world view about things. <laughs> My girlfriend wanted to be an actor. Yeah. And that time, I was modeling on the side, just making some pocket money, working, mm. wo- uh, walking for all the designers in the country, doing all the fashion weeks, making decent money, and playing cricket on the side, helping my dad in his restaurant. I used to go every evening, about at seven o'clock, shut the restaurant till two, then come back, then go to college at seven in the morning. So I was. I was trying to manage a lot of things at at one time, and this girlfriend I was with, she wanted to be an actor. She was a year senior to me in college, so she passed out. She moved to Bombay. One night I was talking to her on the phone, and she's like, "Okay, I want to break up." I'm like, "Why?" Wow. It's like, because this long distance doesn't work out. I'm like, "Don't break up with me," and I'm a very romantic person, so I'm like, "Okay, I'll come to Bombay." And I packed my bags in a week. I was in Bombay, not knowing what I'll do here, not wanting to be an actor, nothing at all. Two months into the relationship, we broke up. And I'm like, okay, shit! I didn't accept expect that, right? Yeah. I'm like, okay, I thought I would come to London, uh, come to Bombay, and be with her, and everything is going to be hunky dory. But it didn't turn out that way, and we broke up. So I'm like, okay, what do I do now? And I don't quit. I don't easily quit. Yeah. If even if it was cricket that I left, it took me a lot of time to really come to terms yeah. with the fact that I'm going to leave this. So I told myself that now that I've come to Bombay, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to make a life out of Bombay. Not, Did not she make me. it? Uh, as in, she's been trying. I, I I don't want to get into that. That's her journey, yeah. and she's going to realize what what happens to her and all of that. But uh, then she broke up with me, and I and I didn't know what to do for two months. And then I met some people. Those people referred me to some people, and some people, and then I got a film. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I hear people not getting a film for years, and I have just walked into Bombay, not wanting to be an actor. Not I'm not trained in any way. I have no craft. I have zero craft. And I have Yashraj backing me. What the hell did I do? I got scared. I genuinely got scared. And then I realized, okay, there's something right happening. Let's not try and dwell into what it is. Just enjoy it, and let's put your best foot forward and just enjoy what you're doing. And yeah. that's what I started doing. And I started loving acting. I think it's a form of expressing yourself. And mm. I'm a very expressive person. I love talking. I love chatting. I love talking to everybody. I have no filters in life. Whatever I feel, I say. So I think I was enjoying that, and then films kept happening and happening one after the other. Now this is my fifth film in my fourth year in the industry, so it's nice. It's fun. Okay, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> one film after the other, and yeah. now I am in London shooting this film, my fifth film. That too with my sister, so it even makes it more special. Mm. So yeah, we have been having a good time. London is a beautiful place. It's got great weather, good people. Yeah. So it's been fun. You played some interesting characters. So in Bombay, Bombay Talkies, you actually talk about homosexuality. Yeah. You address that issue. Yeah. What makes you pick the roles that you do, and why is it so important to play those? So maybe the masses are looking at you mm. to think, okay, maybe we can speak about this now. See, I don't believe in. Uh, I believe that films are purely uh, made for entertainment purposes. Yes, of course, if it has a message, that's good. Mm. But I don't want to be preachy with the films I do. Yeah, that's not the intention. Sorry. So I don't want to be preachy. So when Bombay Talkies was offered to me, the first time I said no. Also because there were a lot of other factors playing in my mind. I come from an orthodox Muslim family background. How would my family react, or what would happen, all of that. But then I thought that I would be a fool if I not do a film with Karan Johar, yeah. with Rani Mukherjee, with Anil Mehta shooting the film, Randeep Hooda in the film. A film that's yeah. celebrating hundred years of Indian cinema, mm. just because on the basis that I'm playing a gay character, I would be a fool if I do that. Mm. I'm an actor. I need to play different roles. I need to express myself differently. I need to live different lives being an actor. And I'm like, just shut up, Sakib. Listen that there's a good story to be told. You have a great part in it. It's about you. It's about your fears, your inhibitions, your sexuality. 
bloody hell do it man why think twice you getting to work with good people interesting minds you getting to collaborate with so many people why not yeah agree and mommy talkies happened and i got some brilliant reviews for it i didn't expect so much praise for it so then all of that happened and then people started taking me seriously thinking oh this guy can act because when you, in in the country it's it's sad though but when you do comedy films people yeah. don't consider them to be good films even if they make money right. and uh, though i got great reviews for both my earlier films mm. but it it was bombay talkies for me that really got me on the map saying okay there's a guy to watch out for he can act he can cry he can emote so i think that was very important so i had to do a film like that for people to realize that there's some potential there okay so just back to what you're here filming for mm. so the the remake of the oculus just a little bit about the storyline and do you believe in ghosts and spirits so the film is basically about a family a family that was broken by a supernatural element and now the siblings have gotten together to avenge what has happened to the family yeah. and that's what the family is about okay. but that that that's what the film's about you've seen the original yeah. if you haven't you get you have to watch it this week you said correct so you watch the film I want but to be <laughs> but but I like to add that we've changed the film okay. in a lot of ways we've added different elements to it we've added character layers to it we've added different dimensions to it so which is making this film interesting we've I won't say we've indenized the film, but we've added elements that will appeal to a global audience as well. Indian, yes, but film uh, audiences, people like you who stay here and watch yeah. this film, you'll enjoy it. So when can we expect to see this? Uh, early next year. Early next year. Early next year. And coming back to your question, do I believe in ghosts or yes. supernatural? No. You don't. I don't. I like to believe. Till it doesn't happen with me, I won't believe in it. So okay. nothing of that sort has happened with me. I've heard in numerous stories. I'll tell you some in a bit. <laughs> I've been told that this house is haunted, but nothing of that sort has happened with me. So okay. till it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Okay. And apart from this movie, what are your projects for the rest of the year for next year? What can we look so forward I, to? I after this, I start the sequel to an earlier film that I did called Mere Dad Ki Maruti. Yes. We're doing yes. a part two to that, and hopefully another Punjabi film. boy. Punjabi <laughs> boy, getting my Punjabi accent back. So that's why I asked you guys. You speak in Punjabi. Punjabi, many want to be Punjabi. Vadi aji, vadi aho. So I've been trying to pick on, like, trying to add certain layers that probably mm. I felt I missed out in the first film. Okay. So we'll add that. Let's see. So that's what I'm doing. So as an actor, it's very difficult. Yeah, you're shooting another yeah. film. You have to get into a mindset of the next film. So it's a process that I enjoy. It's a. Ultimately, I probably don't even see my films after the yeah. release. I just want to enjoy the filming process of it, and I think it's for people to see the film and decide if the film's good or not. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us. My All pleasure. the best. All the best. Thank you.